Here we are in Madrid, and we are going to take you to the places off the beaten track. Often, when we're going somewhere, we just have a quick look on Google to find out where to go. We are not going to take you to those places, because if you go there, you often find you're just one of many sheep following this throng of people, and it's not so fun. Instead, we're going to take you to the finest, most exquisite establishments, boutique shops, cafes, restaurants, with the finest cuisine. Camilla's right though, so normally I'd go to the capital city of a place and want to see all the main sites. But I guess because we live here, it does mean that mentally we're like, we're probably going to come back many times. That's quite nice because we've kind of relaxed and enjoyed ourselves and thought we're just going to do a few things. And finding an area that kind of people hang out in that isn't sort of the main touristy one, it's really fun. And this area, just sit here, yeah, I like it. You can even buy, um, Pink tigers, mm. do you want? Just up here, over the road, the most beautiful, highest quality, handmade Spanish fans. Yes. Oh, my latest business venture. Wow. Let's go in. That's such a cool one. You can imagine yourself sort of wafting feathers. <laughs> and you yourself. Oh, now there you will really be wafting feathers. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's so cruel de Ville. Oh, yes. I love it. Look at these ones, aren't they beautiful? I love this classic one. Now this almost reminds me of a shadow puppet show where you can imagine the light filtering through. It's really cool. Oh, look with the birds. And bees. Oh, here. that's a stunner. Oh my god. That is a stunner. I think I found your Christmas present. <laughs> they are. Materials. I'm so happy we found the shop. Oh look, it even has it even has a chain. Is this to carry it? So you'd carry it diagonally over the body. Oh my goodness. You can fan yourself while oh yeah, while mid-track. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you make these, that's so lovely. <laughs> incredible lady is one of the artisans that helps produce these handmade fans. They go anything from how much? 90, 95. 95 euros to about 3,000. So the big fluffy feather one in the window. That's the one I wanted, darling. 3,000 and there are <laughs> other colours of this. They're really beautiful. She was just saying she was actually just working here to produce this fan. What's it made of? Is this, is this ostrich feather? Ostrich feather. Yeah. Oh. So, wow. so it's real wood, not it's not plastic or yeah. not or nothing of that. Yeah. It's all wood. <laughs> That's lovely. And look on did you see this one? That's exquisite, isn't it? If you want to get me a birthday present, Camilla. <laughs> Every single fan is unique in the shop. Shoe creator of Spain. Oh yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice actually. I do ice cream croissant. Oh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'm gonna have to have one. Oh my good yawns. Look at this croissant roll. Never seen a croissant roll. Lotus. Of course, I'm I'm basically here for the croissant ice cream just because it's a bit mind blowing, isn't it? It really is. It's together, is it? Like it's a good best. question. This is more like a challenge than an ice cream. Can I eat this without covering myself <laughs> in either ice cream or flaky pastry? This is a very very good question too. All these little shops here are really cool. They are. We've got the kind of lovely yoga studio there. Mm. Oh 
two of life's great pleasures in one place. In fact, three, because we've got Oreos as well. Uh, am I the third? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sorry, four of life's great pleasures. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't forget your cuchara. Adios. Honestly, does life get any better than this? I don't know. You'll have to try it first and then tell me what you think. I can see this catching on. Ice cream bags. Oh, across. this is so funny, Ollie, because opposite you is a yoga studio. So... Oh, yeah, of course, I'm going there later. <laughs> another life. Stop right there. Tell us how it is. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Let's get on one time. Oh, it's very good. See you later. <laughs> Tell you what, though, I'm getting a bit of a croissant with it. It's a remarkably good combo. Oh, I bet. This is going to catch on across all the nations. Anyone in the UK, there won't be Mr. Whippy Vans, there'll be Monsieur Whippy Vans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Serving croissants and ice cream. Are you ready, Ollie, for a quick workout? I will do this when I finish my ice cream. Reinvent your body, mind and soul. I'm not quite sure that's the reinvention that they had in mind. It's definitely reinventing <laughs> my mind and my soul. It depends how you're trying to reinvent it. Uh, yes. I don't know where this outfit. You are going to look so good in that outfit, Thank you. I did trick Ollie into coming here because it's full of beautiful boutique shops and now I have to show you all of them. Well, maybe just a few. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> oh wow. That's beautiful too. No, I love a green dress. I think we might have to come back to Madrid. I think we might. Just to go shopping when we're rich. We've got a lot of damp, damp proofing to work out first. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to prioritise damp proofing. The colours in here are incredible. This it's shop. so nice because the design is really great. Lovely. Oh, nice colour scheme how the orange and the pink really work together. That would suit you. Thank you. Anything for me, darling, about this yellow number? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow, that's lovely, isn't it? It's very vibrant. Oh my goodness, that's stunning. I'm actually in heaven. Okay. Yeah. Are you less in heaven now? <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to leave. Mm. Gracias. <laughs> Look at this place. It's magnificent. This might be a little bit too much for me about my with you. It's cool. It's but, very cool. But it's a little bit OTT maybe. It's certainly a landmark. I think they thought, you know, I need a balcony. I'll just put a few leaves on. <clears throat> I've got a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of Barcelona though. You get more of that kind of Gaudi-esque melting effect. Let's go down this one, Ollie. I love all the balconies. There's just so much to wonder. That's what's so lovely about Justicia. Poor little bars. There's so much going on. Oh, wow. But Ollie, I'd like you to step over the road, please. And then go a little bit left. Because look where you are now. This is a really intriguing shop because it doesn't really have any big giveaways as to what it's for. It is a wellness center. This is the place I need to get to to recover from my ice cream. Indeed. Beautiful building. I feel quite safe just standing outside there. I think I'm just going to hang out here and have a spa experience. I feel quite zen just looking at 
the way they've designed it. Look at that. It just shimmers. We've actually been allowed to come inside and we're just hearing about what the services are here. You see it again? Okay? Oh, wow. That's a little plunge pool just back there, was yeah. it? Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Wow. Gosh. Okay. It's one of the rooms for the massage. Then um. here we have the little pool and then the stone bed mm. for the rest of the massage. And also this kind of ceilings uh, allows to rain. Are you okay? No. no. So that's one of the, our best services. That's amazing. So you have rainy ceilings. Yeah. So this is a kind of forest that we have and is the, um, the place to disconnect from oh. where you get chains to and you cross to the road. So you call this the forest? Yeah. Okay. The forest I, think, I think we both need this. Yeah, oh, I definitely need this. Yes. This place is amazing. <laughs> Wherever you go, there's something new to explore. It really We've is. Got a fan shop where they make them. We've got this incredible place where it rains on you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love this. And then look, all these beautiful little boutique shops, cafes, restaurants, and people just floating around in lovely dresses. Ooh, interior an interior design. design shop. You do see lots of that lovely cotton like ankle fabric as you can see here and of course cotton being one of the trades of the americanos i think that could be quite fitting with the house too people just love it because it has that sort of soft white fluffy cloud appearance look at the balcony don't they just love it gosh yes ophelia home decor store I love this shop as well. So when you look at manuscripts in uh, old libraries and museums and stuff, obviously you can't touch them. So this company called Malero have actually recreated them. So you can actually have one of your own. And I love this one with the map over there, the atlas. Yeah, it's really lovely. The prospect of being able to touch it is very exciting. Miniaturist right. paintings are something I've always adored. Lovely. We're definitely going to come back. Ooh, it's a little bit Los Americanos. Good this is my new look. What's it? Dan John. I think the one on the right is a bit more safari. Yeah, but I want the Americanos one. Okay, Americanos, here we come. Quick. Oh, These are fun though for our bathroom. Very fun. Oh, yeah. Are you ready, Ollie? Yep. It's over here. Got this marble top. We're looking for a table to go in the middle suite of our eldest daughter's rooms as a sort of place to have a very sort of cool, sophisticated sort of tea, cup of tea with friends. Yeah, those are really, really cool. You could always see those going up the centre of our staircase. Lovely card back. Sofa. The buccal sofa and the buccal chair in white might not be a good fit for our home. We've got cats, a dog, you and the children. <laughs> so rude. Sorry. Yes. And then the chandeliers, the two chandeliers. Because you know we keep talking about dividing the dining room into two sections and having a chandelier on either side of the centerpiece, uh, the ceiling those. Two chandeliers on either side. I actually really love the design of those. Personally, I think more for the sort of what will be the kitchen and so forth. I'm not sure for the main Ooh, room, but I might be wrong. That would be magnificent. I think we need something a bit more traditional for the dining room. Um, a bit Do more like some you? of the ones we've seen today. I agree with you in one half of me but then the other half of me thinks back to for example the dani roof terrace bar of the four seasons hotel do you remember the lighting on the ceiling in that room yeah. so it's got that kind of 
melting glass effect and I really love that and it it feels quite fitting with the ear of the house as well so I think it's something to consider okay, I'm, I'm open-minded mm. we'll have a debate it's a shame we can't just say look we just want to borrow it for the afternoon put them in situ and then see what we think we Who might knows? find someone that might let us mm. you never know I have never seen this in my life before but what a beautiful idea a green girl and a red girl Oh, absolutely and look who is a red girl look you've dressed for it darling we're just looking into a little paradise it's i mean the gates and then these trees and the light coming through don't you just want to step inside yeah i can hear the birds singing and it's so nice and another lovely umbrella in madrid yeah, we're definitely not going to go out and buy sort of bog standard ones now. I was going for simple, but I think let's make it a little bit more interesting. I agree. And we're late. Come on. Oh, okay. I think we can do this. I feel the energy. Go. She can do it. I think I'm just going to let Camilla go. She'll be able to save our place. Gracias. metal light shade. I mean the design ideas and this uh, rattan side of the bar. Hey, yeah. Sofas, lights everywhere, hot air balloon right in the center. It's definitely proving an inspiration isn't it? No, I've just realised as well, you're right. Do you know what this lighting is like? You know, I know why it's so fun for me. It's it's like um, a celebrity dressing room. Yes, or a fun fair oh as well. It's got the combination of the two yeah, things. It's amazing. Yeah, it's definitely um, lightens the soul, doesn't it? Look at oh, that. It does. It's a really happy place. So, Ollie. So, we're here for brunch. Very civilised, don't normally have brunch. Um, we're also here, of course, to like check out the day for. And I love this. This is a bit like the place we went to yesterday where they had covered the walls with something really interesting. Mm. I haven't seen it before. You've got the, the gauze, um, sort of linen gauze, and you've got the lights behind it. It's really effective, isn't it? Yeah. So they've got a metal structure containing lights behind the gauze. They've not treated the wall at all. Instead, they just put this on top. And you know what I've just spotted as well? At the top is this mirror to create even more light reflection. These glasses have got marbles inside. So cool. <laughs> Homemade guacamole. Langoustine. Mm, I'm trying to remember the last time we had brunch together. Years ago, but I can't even remember it. So we're really going for it this time. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Wow. Really special this place. I'd recommend it. This is so decadent. We have got Nutella ice cream and popcorn. I'm not quite sure what this little thing here is, but I'm willing to give it a go. Taste it. Mm. Good? Mm, it's really good. There's coconut in there. I'm not sure what else. So look here, you don't just take a tiny weeny bit. You go like... Oh, that's kind of elegant. Oh yeah, it has got Nutella inside. Nutella inside the ice cream decadent. with popcorn. <gasps> but look, our bill has been brought to us in a hot air balloon. Would you like to open it up for us, Sonny? Wow. The food was absolutely excellent. It was one of the best meals we've ever had. And knowing that Madrid can be quite expensive, this place was really reasonably priced. Let's go. I'll be your mind, darling. <laughs> okay. Well, look, you can even buy <laughs> the uh, thing to put the bill in. Every time I cook for you, which is all the time, at the end I will present to you a little bill. I did cook for you once when I first met you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I've found out on that ever since. We've come into the park to get some shade. It's lovely. It's like, it reminds me of a London park actually. It really does. Boating and the flowers. Really nice. 
Lovely, isn't it? It's nice to have a, you know, a proper statue to roam behind. D for Don, like Don Pico. So this is Don Carlos the second. So we need Don Pico the first, the statue in, in recognition of our wonderful cat. Yeah, because this is a walk of great people. Mm -hmm. The great people in history, and we can have the great cats in history. That's very true, yes. Mm -hmm. I could see Don Pico up there. Definitely. <laughs> I think we should model our cat statues on Don Sancho the fourth though. He's really quite the dandy. And I think kind of like that, but with, with Don Pico. Yeah, that stance. We want Don Pico in that yeah, stance. Very cool. Cool, isn't it? Pretty things to look at. We're gonna go and grab a cup of tea in what used to be the Ritz. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> we're basically staying in quite a normal apartment and we're going to fancy places. <laughs> we're vicariously living in these other places. Uh, it's been recommended this is a really pretty place to go, so. And what is it now, darling? So I think it's now the Mandarin Oriental. Okay, let's go. But it looks lovely. It does. A lovely hotel, sort of aromatherapy smell. Oh yeah, I like the staircase. This is rather nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Yes, so nice. Sort of contemporary twist on the traditional palm court place. So this would have been very kind of traditional when it was the Ritz. And now they've given it a slightly more modern look. Yeah, I think it's really lifted it and freshened it up a lot. I really like it. Look at this place. Oh, it's it's very gross. Two chandeliers next to each other. Oh yeah, and they're different heights. Ooh. You've got this and you've got these legs, right? These chandeliers reflect from the surface of the round tables. I love all the furniture here, beautiful cushions, and the gold edging. Definitely agree. I think this is my favourite room. So lovely. Yeah, the, the reflections work so well in this room. Actually, they they bring a lot of light in. I could just look at the scallops over there. Up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how the actually. Yeah. But my favourite is definitely the double chandelier thing. Definitely. I haven't it's seen very that. By the way, there's two of them next to each other. It's quite unusual. I think that naturally this is probably quite a dark room because they've done so much to bring light in here. So even on this door, they put mirrors, beveled mirrors, into the wood panelling. Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Oh, and look at this little scalloped area here. Thing here. Yeah. materials that kind of work together. Yeah, I actually really love these poof things with the different textured pattern. So you've got a striped fabric here and you've got this kind of checkered green. You've got different textures on the sofa, so you've got the smoother base than the velvet. This must be an evening bar because it's totally empty. It's lovely. Nice but little, it's really nice at night. Oh, a lovely place to cocoon yourself with a little drink. Mm -hmm. 